Hello, I'm Mary Honeyball, Labour MEP for London. I've been an MEP for over eight years and I'm a member of the European Parliament Women's Rights and Gender Equality Committee. I believe it's important to get more women involved in politics so that women have equal representation with men in institutions like the European Parliament. So I wrote a directory of women MEPs, including individual biographies, to showcase how women come into politics and encourage more to get involved. We could then see how women came into politics and use this information to encourage women in the future. Women in Power is the first publication to list all the female representatives in any parliament in the world. Although women are still underrepresented in the European Parliament, it is much better than the House of Commons. There are 246 women members of the European Parliament out of a total of 785, in other words 30%, compared to Westminster where women make up a mere 20%. I think that one of the reasons there are more women in the European Parliament is the different parliamentary style. The European approach is less confrontational and based more on consensus and compromise than in the UK. In contrast, the House of Commons is more adversarial and aggressive. The Women in Power Guide to Women MEPs gives us an insight into why women enter politics. Each entry gives a short biography as well as the individual woman's interests and activities in the European Parliament. Women MEPs come from many and varied backgrounds. The vast majority have a degree and many are teachers and lawyers, as may be expected. But surprisingly, there are a disproportionate number of female scientists who may get on better in politics as they are more used to working in a man's world. A few women began their careers working in the European Parliament as interns. Women in Power shows just how important education is for women entering politics. Half of the women MEPs are unmarried and even fewer have children. The life of a Euro politician is not conducive to family life. The weekly commute to Brussels is problematic. It is obviously not possible to bring school-aged children with you and many women do not like to leave their children for days at a time. Women in Power provides lots of useful information. I hope we can use it to encourage more women to enter politics and become MEPs, MPs and take up places on public bodies.